that. Guys, like every morning I would wake up and the cage would be flooded. He formed like Lego pieces. Hello everybody and welcome to Mr. Latte and More. We're so happy to have you here. If you're new to our channel, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell. And also, be sure to share this video and all the others because we have like 58 subscribers now and we are just getting a sad amount of views so i'm counting on you guys to share because people need to know that bunnies don't belong in cages and all these facts that people wouldn't otherwise know so share this video now today we are going to be doing kind of a special video um we are going to be doing a reaction video so i'm super excited to try it and let me know in the comments if you want to see more of these. I am reacting to one of my old videos because when I first got Latte, I was 10 years old and I quite literally didn't know anything about getting a bunny. So, did quite a few things wrong, but on this channel I made a video um, my first day with Mr. Latte and there's just a lot of things that I caught in there that like, oh, that's wrong. I just um, don't really like having that video up on the channel without you guys knowing like, this wasn't right so that's what we're going to be doing today hope you guys enjoy again be sure to like subscribe uh hit the bell and share most important today is share we are going to type in our channel name and there we are so if we scroll you can oops if we scroll all the oh we have to click on videos of course and then if we scroll all the way to the bottom you will see day one with mr latte and that is the video we are going to be reacting to today so i'm super excited let's get into this okay so i'm just going to pause right here real quick um i know it's really early in the video but we kind of wanted to rescue, but I was 10 years old and so many people were like well, wanting the bunnies and you know with like the home inspections and stuff. The process just seemed too long and overwhelming for us. So when my grandmother called and said that she had found a bunny from a breeder who loved to cuddle, it was like, all right, let's go with that, right? So anyways, let's continue. <laughs> I just want to say right here, I know I just paused it like five seconds ago, but it says after carrying him in a bag in and out of pet stores, um, because first of all, we literally carried him in a bag. We had no carrier and you know, he was so tiny when he was that little, like he could literally fit in my dad's hand. He was so tiny, but cause we literally had none of the stuff, which is why we had to go pick it up all that day. We were so unprepared. One of the things you guys can learn from this is, um, be prepared for when you get your bunny because you don't want to be like us it was kind of stressful um so make sure you've got all the stuff that you need you know what you're doing you know what's going to work for you um and you've got like everything ahead of time okay because otherwise it's just going to be really stressful and obviously if you're watching this video uh you're pretty prepared so also for those of you who are just watching it for fun if you know anyone who wants to get a bunny share this video with them because um it's going to be super educational for them because i did a lot of things wrong my first time around getting a bunny so let's go okay we're gonna pause real quick there are so many things here first of all guys do you see the litter that is cedar litter for those of you who don't know cedar litter causes so many problems for bunnies but one of the um actually maybe it doesn't cause so many problems but it's known to cause kidney problems for rabbits by giving them cedar litter um so don't buy cedar litter get paper litter um not only does it smell so much better cedar litter guys your bunnies should be indoors they should not be outside um that where they can die from heat stroke even just a predator walking up to them they can get scared and die your bunny should be inside so cedar litter just smells bad like your bunnies in your house you don't want it to smell bad right paper litter smells so much better and also cedar litter causes kidney problems the next thing do you see that tin bowl thingy going on that was his hay bowl not hay bag not hay feeder hay bowl guys 
Alfalfa hay, your bunnies should be eating unlimited alfalfa hay up to six months because uh, alfalfa hay has a bunch of fibers and nutrients that baby bunnies need to grow up until they're six months. Then it becomes a treat hay and that type of serving of alfalfa hay, you still want to give them a bunch of unlimited other types of hay, which Latte is eating his hay right now because that's what they graze on all throughout the day, 80% of their diet. But um, that's when that serving would become appropriate, right? Every now and then as a little treat. But when they are this young, they need unlimited alfalfa hay, unlimited pellets. So that was just totally inappropriate, the amount of alfalfa hay that he had. So, yeah. Make sure your bunnies have unlimited alfalfa hay. Unlimited. So up until they're six months, that's not appropriate at all. pausing it again simply because this poor bunny had every right to be confused I was putting the cedar litter everywhere except in the litter box except in the litter box right so he had every right to be confused and again that type of litter box is not appropriate right now it looks appropriate and it was appropriate for about three months until he got big and it just wasn't gonna cut it anymore and then we had to buy another litter box then that litter box got too small. It just kept going, and they would get old and dirty. So finally, we just bought the bun box, which I will link in the description for you. It's really nice. Um, the grid doesn't give them sore hocks or any of that, and it keeps their tail clean without hurting them. But um, not appropriate. Guys, I know that the pet stores, they're going to tell you that, you know, this is okay, and this is okay, and you need this. But the pet stores are the people trying to sell this kind of stuff. So, of course, they're going to tell you it's okay. Okay? Right? Don't do this. It's a waste of money. Your bunny's not going to like it. Okay? At the bottom of the screen, you guys can just see a tiny bit. There's like Legos all over the place. The other day, um, my brother was trying to annoy me by throwing some Lego pieces in my room. I thought I had cleared them all out, and he didn't mean any harm, right? But that night, I hear this really loud chewing. I'm like, what is that? Can't be a pellet. Like, can't be. Hey, I pull out this deformed, like, Lego piece out of Latte's mouth. Okay? You've got to make sure that your home is bunny proofed, that it's like cleaned up, um, cords, wires, trim, all that stuff, it's got to be protected. Um, and especially when bunnies are young like this, their curiosity is just at its peak. So stuff like that laying all around is super dangerous. Make sure your home is clean and bunny proofed when your bunnies are young and you're letting them explore especially because they're just going to explore everything. And think about this. Right? How does an animal know what's food and what's not? They've just got to try everything, especially baby bunnies who are super curious. So make sure that your home does not look like this when your bunny is brand new or, you know, at any point that you have a bunny. And we're going to pause it right here because do you see the water over there? Like, okay. For those of you who watch our channel, you guys know Latte's kind of a small bunny, smaller, medium-sized dish. He's about five pounds. He's supposed to drink about as much as a large dog. Like, it's crazy, crazy the amount of water that they drink. And then you've got this tiny little baby bunny, right, who's growing and eats all the water, unlimited hay, again. Um, so they need huge bowls of water. Um, I can make a video about this later, but when we got um, Latte's cage, it came with a water dripper. Guys, like, every morning I would wake up and the cage would be flooded because the water dripper wasn't giving him enough water. They need huge water bowls. That, what we had right there, was especially not appropriate. So your bunnies need lots of water, lots of hay. A healthy bunny should be drinking so much water and consuming so much hay. So, also, the silicone, like, those containers that the pellets in the water are in, they're, like, a silicone material. And after he got done with the pellets, he would, like, eat the silicone so even the space that was supposed to be safe for him right it wasn't super safe 
So you've got to make sure that you're prepared ahead of time with all the stuff that's going to be safe for your bunny and okay for them. So. Latte tape was kind of an exception on the cuddling part. Your bunny, especially when they're young and brand new and you're trying to bond with them, um, you don't want to be picking them up all the time. Because I remember when, when, like, when he hit puberty, um, he was like thumping at me and afraid of me because I was always trying to pick him up, right? Like I was 10, I just wanted to cuddle with my bunny. So um, always try to bond with your bunny first, then pick them up, even like just cuddling on the floor. Great start. So Latte tape was kind of an exception. When he was a baby, he loved to cuddle. Not so much. I mean, like, now he likes to cuddle on the floor, but most bunnies don't like to be picked up. Latte tolerates it more than others, but still. It's kind of an exception, so make sure you know your bunny first. Yes, I spelled latte wrong, but yeah, that is it for this video. Um, I hope you learned something. If you learned something, um, let me know down below in the comments. Um, also, if you want to see another reaction video, I've got some other videos from before latte was in a playpen. That, like, eh, there's some stuff that like could be used for educational purposes, you know. So let me know if you liked it in the comments, and hopefully, if you do like them, I can make more soon. Okay. So again, most important thing today, share this video. We need views, um, likes, comments. So share this video, comment below, hit the bell, subscribe, like, I think I covered everything. All those fun things and check out our Instagram. There should be a link in the description or on our channel's homepage. All right, well, I hope to see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching and remember, share this video, okay? Bye everybody.